Hello, so the other day I was able to can several jars of green beans and I did a brief demo of those and I showed you the other vegetables that I had just kind of lying around my kitchen. So the okra, I cut the tops off and just make sure they were very clean and then I was just able to add them to a gallon bag and they're ready for the freezer. With the bell peppers, I cut the tops off of those, any bad places, cut the insides out, and then they are ready for the freezer. With the peppers, cut off any bad places. I actually left the tops on these and then added them into a quart bag and they are ready for the freezer. What I'm doing today are the tomatoes. So what I did was I boiled some water and once it got hot, I have already cut the tops of the tomatoes off. And so then if you dip them into the hot water, then it makes it very easy just to peel the skin off. And once you peel the skin off all the way around, then you're able to place it in the freezer bag and you are good to go. Placing these in the freezer, saving, preserving them for soups in the winter time, there is nothing like some good old vegetable soup. I usually put corn, okra, whatever kind of mixed vegetables I can get, sometimes carrots, sometimes peppers. I may mix my fresh vegetables, my fresh frozen vegetables with some of the mixed vegetables that you find in the freezer section of the grocery store. And then I will probably add some broth. I like vegetable broth. I like low sodium chicken broth, sometimes beef broth. Those are just wonderful. So here I don't necessarily have to use the diced tomatoes or the canned tomatoes. I can use my very own frozen tomatoes. I use frozen tomatoes for soups. I also use it for some bases with pasta, maybe spaghetti sauce. So another awesome recipe is just using tomatoes, corn, and okra. And that is a, a, just a great meal. You may want to add some protein to the side or you can just eat that as is. So I have a number of tomatoes that I am doing today, but one thing about our summer garden this year is that we are getting lots of wonderful tomatoes and the eating plan that I'm on right now, I cannot enjoy a good old summer tomato sandwich the way I want to. I'm not even supposed to put these on my salads for whatever reason, but I will enjoy these later in the year. So this is just very easy to preserve your tomatoes. If you don't have your own garden, your patio pots, or just the vine of tomatoes growing somewhere, maybe your neighbor is. If you get a hold of extra tomatoes this summer, do put them up, do preserve them so that you can have fresh vegetables. My husband is wonderful in that he does not use any type of pesticides in our garden. If bugs get to them, it's just like, oh well, those weren't necessarily meant for us because he wants to keep them as healthy as possible. And um, we can go to the store and get lots of preservatives. So one of the purposes of having our own things is that, you know, it's basically we're growing them organically, free of the chemicals, free of the harmful pesticides. So this is what summer is like for me. It's wonderful. I love the poem by Nikki Giovanni that talks about my daddy's garden because that's how I grew up. We used to help my dad with his garden and my dad still is doing his thing with his garden. He even comes up and helps us with our garden. And so my mom is in the kitchen preserving whatever my dad brings in. And so I'm growing up to be a core Cora Jr. and um, just loving the summer again and the produce. So trying to share some tips. 
this is not the only way to do things and you may feel like this isn't the right way to do things, but it's my way of doing it. It works for me. And so I'm just passing on tips to anyone who might be interested in preserving some things. So you go out, as Tab Brown says, have a great day. And if you can't, don't you dare go messing up anybody else's. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Let's inspire, let's be creative, let us uplift people and give them hope, so let's explore and give opportunities, so let us publish our dreams, so reach out to us, it's crown, yeah.